hello everyone in this video i'm going to show you people how to set up old opengl inside older version of sdl so as you all know older version of sdl you can set up opengl uh, what we are going to do set up a simple 3d scene and then create a simple object and we create our own camera we can move the camera around uh, let's uh, let's have a look how the program looks and i will show you the all uh, uh, take you through the code how, how to create the code how to write the code um, to get uh, the same kind of same result so I have got the program already which is called uh, GL camera so this is our program open GL program uh, using SDL and then I can use um, keys keyboard keys a s w d to move my camera camera around forward backward left and right as you can see we have one 3d object in the scene uh, it's all in old opengl we are not using any shaders we are not using any any of the new opengl we are using old style opengl uh, as uh, older version of sdl doesn't have um, uh, it's easy to initialize older version of opengl so if you're writing simple games and it still is applicable to use OpenGL older version and it's pretty straightforward to create this inside SDL you don't need to be you don't need to have uh, it's good to have this fundamental OpenGL knowledge using older version of OpenGL and uh, we could also use uh, arrow keys on the keyboard to uh, kind of uh, rotate our camera as you can see I'm just uh, rotating my camera I can rotate up and down and then as I'm rotating my camera my forward key would follow the camera angle so I'm kind of now flying just kind of like a Superman style thing I can fly around just like so if you're building a simple flying game maybe this is the camera you want uh, this kind of the camera uh, there are many ways to create camera inside OpenGL so but this is a camera which kind of so that's all for this uh, the demo called uh, demo program so now I'm gonna take you through the code. Uh, the code is here, OpenGLC. It's all written in C. Uh, so now we have to include. Let's, uh, let's make it bigger. We are including all the standard of uh, C uh, libraries, uh, header files, stdio for printf function, stdlib for exit function, string for any string. I suppose I haven't used any string C type for any type conversion and math for some of the calculation for math functions. Then we have to include SDL for SDL functions and OpenGL slash GLH for OpenGL functions. Then we have a variable called shut to kind of control the program when to exit and when they when to exit from the program loop and then we have we have uh, two different uh, OpenGL variable alpha and beta. I suppose this has to do with the camera angle, uh, left and uh, camera angle. And then we have three different variables x, y, z. I think it has to do with the camera. Uh, we'll look, uh, we'll see, and the zoom. Has to do with the OpenGL camera. How we set up our camera inside the it's called OpenGL Frustrum. You can GL Frustrum. You can do a Google on this. Uh, the lens of the camera, the OpenGL lens. Uh, so these are the variables. Then we have an array of variable called Move, which controls the movement of the camera uh, using the SDL keyboard and then Pi, Pi value and the speed of the camera movement. And then. First, we, uh, we have a variable for SDL surface, back surface, where everything will be um, kind of uh, rendered on this surface. And then event for 
for managing the keyboard handling and keyboard uh, keyboard keys uh, and then we have these functions one for draw rect prism which we saw in the demo program in the scene we have a uh, rectangular prism inside the scene and this function would exactly create that uh, object inside the OpenGL and it takes on length wide thickness of the prism and the color of the different sides red green and then I think the setup RC set up the scene has to do with the let's look have a look uh, set up the scene and then render the scene this function would render the scene and then physics it just has to do with the movement of the camera get input is uh, um, just receives the SDL keyboard as keyboard uh, information whether a key is triggered or not then we have our main function uh, first we print initializing SDL so that we set up our SDL using the SDL init function uh, we tell we pass SDL init video we want a video as uh, we want a video and we want a timer and we want audio I, I suppose I haven't used these two so you can take it out this two because this two thing is not used in the program timer and audio we don't have any audio we don't have any timer I think um, I just put it there and then we print print success if it's if it was successful and we set the SDL GL set attribute uh, we want a double buffered OpenGL context so that's why we have to use this function to get double, double buffered OpenGL then we send the title of the window SDL window which is this as you saw and we create the main SDL surface the surface where everything will be drawn using um, SDL set video mode we want uh, the resolution of the surface of the window and uh, the resolution of the window to be for 640 by 480 pixels uh, 32 bit color and it would have SDL OpenGL OpenGL context then we check if it's uh, if it was successful and then we set up our context using the setup RC let's move on to that function so inside setup RC we are setting up all the OpenGL related um, functions uh, so we'll have depth test for our OpenGL. What it does, GL enable. We use the GL enable function to enable GL depth test. Uh, what it does, uh, it uh, allows us kind of uh, differentiate the objects which are further in the scene, further away from the camera, and closer to the camera. Uh, so it could uh, it would do this kind. So you could do more research on that and. The front phrase, GL front phrase, we want counterclockwise. What it does, uh, all the uh, vertices uh, which are which are defining the face of every object inside the OpenGL context. Uh, right after this um, function will be all the faces has to be counterclockwise. The all the vertices on faces has to be placed in a counterclockwise fashion to be rendered otherwise it would be um, transparent then we'll have call face what it does uh, call face so each face or of the object uh, only the outside face of the object will be drawn so the inside of the frames will not be drawn in OpenGL it just helps uh, reduce uh, increase the performance in OpenGL and then yeah, we set the clear color which uh, the color of the OpenGL uh, this for the background color and the, we set up the OpenGL B port which will take up the whole back surface SDL back su surface as you can see um, B port is the window through which we see the scene and then we set the OpenGL matrix mode to OpenGL projection so everything will be all the objects in, into the scene now will be projected using the first term we load up the identity matrix and we set up the first one which is the uh, lens of the view uh, 
then we set to the model view so that now we can um, plot our uh, vertices inside the scene now going back to uh, the main function here we have the main loop and uh, we checks for the start shard variable if it's zero it will uh, continuously uh, keep running uh, if it's one then the while loop will just stop then we have something called sdl get ticks to regulate our frame rates and then we have if it's greater than uh, as uh, 20 frames as defined uh, by the fps underscore regular so whatever is greater than this then it will it will then count as one frame and then collect get the input for the particular frame and render physics what it does is just moves the camera around and we get then render scene which actually renders the scene uh, using the sdl surface then we have we have sdl quiet function which um, stops sdl from uh, working right like like we have here render scene uh, now going back to get input function let's see how the input function works uh, inside the input functions we have regular sdl pull event to get all the events uh, events are the different uh, inputs collections uh, inputs such as keyboard mouse um, uh, gamepad inputs anything is considered as event in uh, event type or it could be a timer now we check for event type and if it's sdl key down which is the keyboard down we check for sdl left right up down key a sd so each key will set this move variable to one 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 if it's down it will set all of this to one move variable so if the key our key is up all the move uh, variable would become zero so that by checking move variable um, status we can uh, move our camera around so that's how we kind of do the movement inside the world then we have um, let's go back here we have render physics which is movement of the camera inside render physics we like i said before we check the move variable if it's one we move the camera uh, using this we are checking the camera angle or rotation here beta if it's more than 360 degrees i'm going back to uh, so this is the rotation and then we have movement movement is just uh, yeah, you are using sine function and uh, time shift by speed to move the camera around in the in the scene. And we are we have here x, y, z, which we'll see where is x exactly used. Then going back to render scene, which is actual rendering of the scene. Uh, render scene where it is here and the scene we deal clear which is clear which clears everything in the scene uh, using a color buffer bit and depth buffer bit color buffer bit we set it to uh, particular color when we initialize the scene here clear color which is the color buffer bit and we load the identity matrix so that everything uh, matrix is empty and then we translate our scene to the zoom factor and then rotate using alpha as uh, so we are setting up the scene from a viewpoint uh, with the camera angle as set in under alpha and then when we rotate it we rotate the x uh, we rotate beta we rotate with the y we, we are doing independent independent matrix operation here and then we translate x y z as set in the uh, variable separate variables that's how the camera movement works and then draw prism we draw the in a prism into the scene after movement of the actual scene which is the movement of the camera and then we call sdl gl swap buffer to actually 
uh, update the Azure surface and render the scene. And that's all here. And inside the draw prism, uh, it's a pretty straightforward function for drawing the prism inside the scene. Well, GI begin and GL end, between which we have a bunch of vertices uh, as defined by here. Here we have four vertices for each face. This is one face of the prism, this is another face. And before each face, we are setting the color of the face. So this is another face and that's all. Like you saw, this program is a simple OpenGL camera pro, um, cam program where you set up the camera inside the scene, OpenGL scene. Thank you very much.